hello viewers welcome back to my youtube channel hopefully you all will be fine like before again i bring the some excited news of the iraqi dinar so guys today we will discuss about the latest news came out from the central bank of iraq us federal reserve and also new york so guys without wasting time we start the video if my video is helpful for you please like and subscribe my channel I pray for you all God give you long life good health and wealth and the best of luck Welcome to another update on the latest developments in Iraq's journey to restore the glory days of the dinar You are watching the Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel where I provide truthful news about the Iraqi dinar and Vietnamese dong Now let's dive into today's exciting updates Intel guru Mike shared that significant progress is being made and advised everyone to stay on standby. He is very encouraged by the developments and suggests that things could climax in the coming days or weeks. Despite some uncertainty surrounding the timing, Mike remains optimistic about the progress so far and believes a positive resolution is on the horizon. In recent updates from the Iraqi dinar community, There's a mix of optimism and caution about the currency's future. According to a recent article, Iraqi government adviser Sala revealed that discussions between the Central Bank of Iraq and the US Federal Reserve have yielded advanced results. Sala emphasized that this renewed collaboration will allow the Iraqi Monetary Authority to re-establish a functioning internal banking market. This progress aligns with operational guidelines, setting the stage for a structured path between Iraqi and international banks. Mark Z, another prominent figure in the dinar community, shared his positive outlook, noting a flood of good news and significant chatter about upcoming developments. Although he acknowledges the uncertainty surrounding the exact timing of these changes, Mark hinted that things are already in motion. He also mentioned the difficulty of confirming some reports due to confidentiality agreements but emphasized the importance of staying calm and discerning between verified information and speculation. Sandy Ingram raised a concern that Iraq might limit the circulation of the dinar to a manageable level, which could boost its value. She questioned whether external investors would be included in this adjustment and advised people to update their passports for potential travel to countries like Jordan, Turkey, or Egypt, where Iraq has established new banking operations. Frank 26 discussed the possible removal of three zeros from the currency as part of a broader strategy, comparing it to past monetary reforms in China and Kuwait. He suggested that Iraq might be using similar tactics to manage speculation and expectations during this reform process. Million Day highlighted the Central Bank of Iraq's progress in transitioning from the electronic platform to a direct correspondent banking mechanism. As of the end of 2024, 95% of the transfer process has been completed, leaving only about 5% to go. This signals that Iraq's monetary reform is nearing completion. Meanwhile, Samson reiterated the positive outcomes of the talks between the Central Bank of Iraq and the US Federal Reserve, further strengthening the reports of significant progress. Mike Carroll also expressed his optimism, advising the community to remain on standby as he expects important developments in the coming days or weeks. In summary, The dinar community is buzzing with speculation and optimism about the future of the Iraqi dinar. While exact timing and confirmations are still uncertain, the ongoing reforms and strategic maneuvers by Iraqi authorities are seen as crucial steps towards stabilizing and potentially enhancing the value of the dinar. On a side note, the US dollar has shown mixed signals in the job market recently. which could affect upcoming payroll data and the Federal Reserve's monetary policy decisions. Stay tuned for more updates on this. Thank you for watching Iraqi Dinar. Please like, share, 
and subscribe for more updates on the dinar and the global economic landscape. Take care, and see you next time.